Hello besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. First of all, I would like to thank each and every one for all the love and support on my previous video. If you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Yes, this was the post on my Instagram. Thank you for all the love. Thank you. Today we'll paint a scene from the movie Spirited Away. I'll be using brush to gouache, but you are free to use any colors of your choice. The colors require are flesh tint, yellow ochre, cerulean blue, Prussian blue, burnt sienna, burnt amber, sap green, scarlet, white, and black. Using flesh tint for the brighter parts of the face. By the way, have you watched this movie? The Spirit of Way? You should. I mean, you must. It's a movie about this 10 year old girl and the adventure she experiences in a really unrealistic world. Frankly speaking, I wasn't at all a fan of her at the beginning. Yes, at the beginning. But she felt like a basic 10 year old girl with all those grumpy and stubbornness. But as the movie unfolds, she develops into this really trustworthy, loyal, and a hardworking person. Right. I won't say much because I don't want to give spoilers, no? But yeah, the animations. You want to paint each and every scene from that movie, yes. By the way, I need to say you something. It's a secret, yes. I have this very big fat crush on the male character. <laughs> I know, I know it's a fictional character, but oh god, he's adorable. Okay, wait, I should stop, stop simping over him because less you will think me crazy. If you have watched my reels on Instagram, you might think me crazy, so yeah. <laughs> Fast forwarding this shit cause it's gonna go monotonous, yes. And now, time for the darker regions, I just added a little bit of yellow ochre to the flesh tint present on my palette. By the way, please do comment if my voice is... I don't know, I'm really scared of doing this voiceover, but somebody suggested me and yeah, lots of people also come DM'd me on Instagram, so here I am. Oh, for the outfit, Haku's outfit, I used a much amount, like large amount of white and a little bit of cerulean blue because his outfit was clearly just a slab of blue. The easiest part of this whole painting and Prussian blue for the strap on his shoulder for his hair for the darker region I used Prussian blue viridian and cobalt blue I don't know why does it look black out here but it's blue it's blue yes yes you can see it right here it's blue but I don't know what's the name of the shade <laughs> if you know please do share it in the comment section yeah It'll take time. Slowly, slowly build the character. And his darker part of his hair is done. For the lighter region, I just added white to it. Yes, that's the easiest part. Just add white to the light for right lighter regions. The male character, Haku. He's smart, quick witted, and a really kind hearted person. Okay, whenever I'm using gouache, I don't use much water. I always keep it in consistency buttery. Yes, smooth like butter. Here I'm using burnt sienna for Chihiro's hair, only for the lighter regions. Yes, always keep in mind for the like how the light is coming because then only your character will look um, like it will bring life to the character. That's that's what I see people here seeing. Yeah, and added a teeny weeny sap green on her outfit on Chihiro's outfit and blended it with white wet brush what's white brush wet brush and added black to burnt umber for the background for blush i added vermilion on flesh tint for a peachy orangish vibe gosh jiro was blushing as hell because haku grabbed her because she was being chased and oh wait, wait. i won't give any spoilers yes i won't no I promised I would. This, this thing, it was the most nerve-wracking part of the whole video. I mean, I never ever 
do detailings with black color no no you'll never see me doing that because i feel it just makes your character look boxy i always use brown or softer shades there's me and my specs hovering over the painting i'm really really sorry i'll check and i'll make sure it won't happen next time okay so there was i yeah i don't use black color for my for the outlining the characters because it just looks like it just doesn't makes it look life like it makes it look lifeless so i will use brown yes you should try it guys it will always give a different look to your character so here's hagwenchi hero i hope you liked watching this video please do let me know in the comment section do like share and subscribe until then take care keep creating see you next saturday bye bye